Hello, welcome back to another video from me, Danielle. If I'm looking a little hot and sweaty, it took me a while to get this film set up going, mainly because I lost, oh my God. Hopefully that doesn't happen again in the video. But I lost my tripod connection, so I'm using an old tripod that's a lot heavier. It's a professional tripod. Don't really need it for this type of video, but hey, we're doing it because we have it. But I have about 30 minutes till my kids wake up from their nap. So all three boys are napping. Once that newborn wakes up, I gotta get to it. So, today's video, cut to the chase. We are doing how to dress postpartum. I am going to be three weeks postpartum tomorrow. So, still pretty early on in postpartum. Still not feeling, you know, 100% myself. Definitely not complaining. Starting to feel a little bit more normal again. And yeah, let's get into it. See some outfits, some ideas. You know, this is my third baby, so I've just postpartum in a few different seasons. And this one's gonna be spring and summer focus since that's the seasons we're going into. So let's get into it. First outfit, the one I have on. This is an outfit that I'd wear pregnant, postpartum, whatever. These are some shorts that are just biker shorts. I believe they are three or five inch. I cannot remember. I will look it up. These are from Shein. I got them when I was pregnant, wore them through the first part of pregnancy. Super stretchy, super nice, super comfortable. And then just throw on a sports bra. This is from Amazon. It actually came with a set where there is like another blue pair of shorts. Those shorts are really short. I don't feel very comfortable and confident in them right now, but I think I will in a couple months. They're nice shorts. I really like the color. They look really good together. Um, but yeah, not quite my scene. Everything will be linked down below. So check it out if you're interested in any of these pieces. Some of them are old, so I'll try to find things similar. Um, but most of them are from Amazon, Target, you know, everywhere that I shop because, you know, I'm pretty basic with where I shop. But yeah, this outfit put on some Adidas slide-on shoes, the ones that I always wear. If you've seen in my vlogs, I have like literally the one pair of shoes I wear all the time. The, put those on and out the door. This is what I'd wear to just hang out with the kids, play out in the yard, garden. I was doing gardening earlier today, which is another reason why I'm a little sweaty and not it's put together. Uh, but yeah, this, this is a great spring summer look. You can even exercise in this. This bra is not the most supportive for me. The girls have gotten a little insane, not gonna lie. Something I wasn't used to after breastfeeding. I lost some uh, volume up here, but it's back with a vengeance. So nice supportive bra. This bra actually is like, I'd call it light support for what I have going on, but I think it definitely could be a medium support for an A to C cup. Once you go on the D and above, I would, would be a little more wary about it, but you've definitely ex exercise in this and I think it'd be very comfortable. Now to go with biker shorts, which I have a couple different varieties. I will flash them up on the screen, the ones that I like the most. Most of them come from Queenie Key, another Amazon brand. <laughs> Real quick, these are the other type of uh, athletic shorts that I like. So I had like the biker shorts, typical ones that you saw. This one has a little cross front, hopefully in black you can see that. And I got these in a medium because I bought them when I was pregnant, which they actually were great when I was pregnant because when your belly just started to get a little big, you still could wear them underneath. And it was kind of nice. They are like the... Uh, Adios brand. I don't know, my thing kind of worn off. Odoos brand. I have these leggings actually in that same crossover, so they're nice. Here's the other type of shorts that I like um, beginning of pregnancy, but also postpartum. Just the drawstring top. Sorry, everything I own is in black. Uh, <laughs> well, it's a little bit um, just like the normal stretch top. This one, I don't even think has pockets. Yeah, these don't have pockets. Sometimes you get them in pockets. Very classic short, very comfortable. Wear them with a tank top. They're awesome. And then these are some Forever 21 shorts I got while I was pregnant. Classic biker short cotton. So not that athletic material, which most of my biker shorts are because I just buy the athletic ones. Um, but yes, yeah, still very comfortable. And I think these ones are in a large. So, you know, with Forever 21, it's always a little smaller. Everything's a little smaller. So I always size up. So postpartum, I thought, large, that's going to be comfortable, right? I like this because this gray is a little different. Wear with another type of long shirt. I think it could look really cool. And since they are a little bigger, I know they'll go down a little further. So probably closer to the knee than a lot of my biker shorts. I dig it. This is a great look postpartum because of a few reasons. If you are nursing, go for v-necks. It's so much easier. I swear, I just pull it down and then I pull the boob out, feed, and we're done. You can pull it up if you want. I just don't do that. I'm the bigger fan of just the v-neck or a button down because it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, but you know, you can do whatever you feel comfortable with. I prefer something where I can just go through the top a little more accessible and I found that my baby's nurse a little easier if it's just a little more free. But I'm also one of those people who I don't really care if I nurse in public and you can see everything. Gotta feed my baby, gotta feed my baby. That's what I feel like. If you're a little bit more shy about it, I do know it's nice to lift things up, be able to do it. Which you're also gonna do in these big oversized shirts because your baby can fit underneath them. This is just a shirt from Amazon, Neutrals. I usually don't go this neutral, but I wanted to test it out. And the thing I like about a shirt like this is you can wear it long, you can wear it loose if you wanna do that. But you can also do things like tie it in a little knot here at the front. 
give it a little bit of style. Tie it on a knot on the side, give it a little bit more style. You also can do a nice little front tuck into your bra if that's your jam, which I actually do like. I've been doing that a little bit more. And then I kind of like to let it looser in the back or just not care about how the tuck looks in the back because, you know, who's looking at the back? But I think that's nice. You make yourself a little cropped moment. But the other thing that I do like to do when I'm wearing biker shorts, just to emphasize the waist a little more, is just a little tuck in the front and then boom, you're good. But this is a very simple casual outfit. If I was gonna go to the grocery store, go to the park, go on a walk around the neighborhood, I would just throw this on over what I'm wearing at home, which is usually just a sports bra with biker shorts or denim shorts. Not yet, I'm not wearing denim shorts at all in this video because <laughs> we're not going down that road. I'm not gonna buy new denim shorts for two months later for me to have to go back to the ones that I was wearing before. You, you can do that if you want. I just don't like to buy items that I'm only gonna wear for like a month or two. This wasn't intentional, but I guess I'm doing all the loungy athleisure stuff first, then we'll get into some dresses and things like that. I even have a swimsuit. Stay tuned, there's a swimsuit on this. I mean, come on, doesn't get better than that, right? I'm actually going to show you how to dress in a swimsuit and feel comfortable when you're only a couple weeks postpartum. That's a win-win in the summer. This outfit is technically a Amazon, like, pajama outfit. They call it like a lounge set for at home. Uh, I got this before I was pregnant this last time around, wore the heck out of it. But then when I got pregnant, I thought, wow, this shirt, super nice, super flowy. I can wear this throughout like the first two trimesters. Wore this as just a shirt with whatever else bottoms I wanted and it looks so good because it's very, very long actually. Like, I have it tucked in right now, but it like goes down to the bottom of the shorts. I mean, that's that's good, good length. So I wore this when I was pregnant a lot, but then I also uh, think that this outfit is not just like for pajamas. Like, I think you could definitely could wear this out. I know I'm going to wear this out now that it's warm enough to wear shorts outside uh, because it's not too short in the shorts. You have pockets, which I like. Throw a fanny pack on if you really wanted to find the waist a little more. And I think that this could be a super cute outfit because, you know, I'm digging that. I'm gonna actually get a fanny pack. <laughs> this fanny pack's super long right now because it's from when I was pregnant. <laughs> Might have to adjust it just a little bit. Okay. Actually, this one goes so well. Oh my god. Love it. Love it. So, yeah, this is something I will be wearing the park. I really like this pulled together look this week. This is gonna be a fit. So, Love it. Um, any sort of these pajama sets work. I actually had two other tie-dye ones that I wore postpartum with my last baby because uh, it was right during, you know, 2021, beginning of the year. It was pandemic-y tie-dye times. Those worked out so well, not only during postpartum, but also third trimester pregnancy because I got them in larges. So they were just super stretchy, super nice. It's just like, come on, that is so nice. Like these little sets, you can wear them for pajamas, wear them around the house. They're so comfortable and you're not going to get sick of them because I don't know, they actually feel really nice. This one's been washed a gazillion million times by now and it actually has kept up structure and like not peeled or anything. So I dig it. Okay guys, it's a little more out of my comfort zone. I don't know if I like it or not, but it's a skirt. It is a skirt. So basically biker short concept, but you have a little skirt over it. It is okay. Like this is the first time I'm actually trying this skirt on because I bought it when I was pregnant. I mean, it's gonna fit a little better in a couple weeks because it's a little tight right here right now. I did buy it in a small though because I was planning on wearing it all summer long. Um, it's okay. I think it's a good look. I think I'm gonna like it better when I'm a little thinner, but if I would buy this in a medium, I think it could be really cute for wanting to dress up and just look a little put together, but like not fully. And then I think, throw this on with it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I like this. I like this a lot. Now, I wouldn't necessarily wear this in public because, you know, nursing wise, I will have to pull everything up. Although, honestly, this is Ah, it's not quite stretchy enough. If it was a little stretchy at top, I could just pull it down, which maybe I shouldn't be pulling down my clothes, like <laughs> stretching out the tops, but I buy cheap enough clothes that I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. But I do like this together. I actually think this is super cute. Um, yeah, another outfit I'll probably be wearing this week because it's still gonna be cold enough to wear this in the morning and not be too warm. But yeah, this looks really, really nice. And one key the thing that I like about postpartum clothes that I go for is something like a sweatshirt because the layers just make you feel a little more cozy. You can wear it as loose or as tight as you want. Um, different type of structure to them, like husband sweatshirts, always a good one to wear because they're gonna be a little bit bigger, a little baggier, and you're just gonna feel good in it. Um, and then the other type that I like are like the ones that have the sh sleeves that go a little lower down, the slouchier look. It just makes you look like, hey, She's that it girl, you know? And a lot of them I'd worn during pregnancy anyway, so it's like, okay, I have them in the closet, easy to grab. But yeah, what do you guys think? Are we into skirts this year? 
athletic scores. I think I think that could be something I like, maybe. Here is a very classic look for me postpartum. Joggers, which these are some of my favorite champion joggers. I believe I got them on Amazon, so I have those linked. Um, and then these are Amazon nursing tops, which I found out with my first baby how much easier it was to just wear a nursing top in those first few weeks when your milk is like insanely coming in. No bra really fits you that well. And you can get nursing bras, but still like they aren't the greatest support. For some reason, these nursing bras just add a little extra support, a little extra lift, and they tuck in everything right here. So they're really nice to wear like with leggings or with joggers. Um, and I, I just really like them. I think they're really, really nice. And the adjustable straps are really good. I mean, you have a lot of room to adjust. Like even right now, this one's a little, a little tight, but they do collect lint like crazy. Cause I'm looking right now and I got blanket fur, I guess is what it is. Cause it's not cat fur all over me. Anyway, though, I really like these. I think they give you good shape. I think they look very nice. And then I also like to pair them with this. I like to pair them with a jacket. So I was telling you before that I really don't care if I nurse in public, you know, in most settings, like it's okay. If I'm at the park, I'm just gonna probably throw it out, nurse. But I'm with my family. I have mostly brothers. My husband, he has all brothers. I'm gonna cover myself up if we're at an event like that. So this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite items I probably ever bought. Bought it uh, postpartum with my second son from a boutique from an influencer here on YouTube, Olivia Zappo. I'll link her right up there. Love her. Right now, I believe she's like redoing her boutique because she's actually having twins. But she had all this beautiful clothes. This was from the first launch, like literally one of the first orders she probably had was me buying this. Freaking love this thing. And it's so nice because it's so long. It's like a lightweight, I don't even know. I'll, I'll look it up because I, I bought it, so I'll have the receipt for it. Um, but it is so nice, so good, so long. You can wear it with a dress. You can wear it with an outfit like this. It's a neutral color. You can wear it with a skirt. I have worn this for professional stuff, going to the beach, really anything. And with nursing, it's nice because, whoa, look at this. You have all this extra fabric to just throw the baby underneath you, or you can take it off and use it literally like as a blanket at the front. So super versatile, and I just love these longer jackets or even sweaters. Like I have this nice white sweater. If you watched my Amazon um, Walmart maternity haul, you'll see that I bought this. This is a nice white sweater, super lightweight, but this is also a nice long one that you can just drape over if you need to nurse. <laughs> It is easy access, great. Here's another very common look that I do postpartum. I like leggings, cause they like to, you know, they pull everything in. So here's the leggings. These are 90 degrees from Amazon. My other favorite, favorite, favorite brands though. I mean, these are like ride or die brands are Colorful Koala, just discovered that this pregnancy, they have the freaking best leggings for postpartum. I mean, I'm wearing smalls um, in all my leggings and it's because they're so comfortable and so stretchy that they literally will stretch with your body. So make it look really good, really snatched in, love it. Colorful Koala is one brand um, and they have ones with pockets without, love it. Then Queenie Key has been for five, six years now. Freaking love them. Discovered them through Hope Scope when she had just started out and she was all about Amazon reviews and stuff. And I have loved them ever since. You'll see in my Amazon store, Queen of Key everything, bras, jackets. I just freaking, freaking love them. They're so great. But this, these ones uh, particularly are the 90 degree ones. These are leggings that I actually loved when I was, uh, not pregnant at all and you know a lot thinner than I am now. They still fit really well because they're nice and stretchy. They do have that top end which a lot of people I know don't like but I like them and I just think they make your booty look good. They're a little bit more elevated because they have that sheen to them that almost makes them like a leathery type legging but they're more comfortable than like an actual leather legging. Love them. And then I like little crop tops like this. So this is a nice crop sweater. Great for springtime and great for feeding your baby and super easy. Very convenient outfit. Now but the other type of crop I like is a zip crop. I have just got it into the zip crop world, but I do like this for postpartum. So this is one that's like a knockoff Adidas one. Uh, really, you know, I think it's pretty fashionable, pretty stylish. Wear with some leggings like this. Goes in at your thinnest part of you. Tucks everything in if you're wearing those leggings that really suck everything up. And uh, again, easy for nursing. You can put the baby underneath or the baby out. Um, but yeah, I just like this. I like the neutrals. I like the black on black. I mean, you can't go wrong with black when you're postpartum. It's just going to make you feel good, feel better because, I mean, you just feel better. You feel better when you wear a black, right? It's a slimming color. I just had to try on the colorful koala leggings. Um, and then my favorite jacket of all time, probably. I've had this now for two years. 
maybe even going on three, but it's just a super simple half, maybe quarter zip. I don't really know. Um, but it's super nice for breastfeeding because it's super wide open or lift up underneath that you can feed. Um, but these leggings too, just look at that booty, the booty definition. Um, and then here's what I'm talking about with this waistband. There is no seam at the top, so there is no digging in. There is a nice wide, wide compression band right here. I'm actually wearing it a little high right now since I just threw these on quick, but it's compressing down the belly because, you know, no matter how well pregnancy went, you're still gonna have some extra skin to be tucking in right here. So it's nice to have that in your leggings or your shorts. Uh, but yeah, this is one of these outfits that this is what I wear like literally every day. When, when I'm, since I work from home, I'm always pretty casual. This is an outfit that I'm at my desk at. You can do Zoom calls in this because it looks like professional enough. Um, throw your hair up, put a little makeup on. It's good. And I can also nurse in this during a Zoom call because it has that flexibility. So very nice, super enjoy it. So I did want to throw in a couple dress options because you might be going to brunch, you might be going for a nice little family dinner and you want to dress a little cuter. I get it, that's me, me too. So right now I'm wearing this t-shirt dress that I got at TJ Maxx. So I did want to throw in a couple dress options because you might be going to brunch, you might be going for a nice little family dinner and you want to dress a little cuter. I get it, that's me, me too. So right now I'm wearing this t-shirt dress that I got at TJ Maxx, it had a high neck on it. Well, that's not me. I don't like anything that's choking me. So I cut the neck out, which actually makes it breastfeeding friendly. And the other thing that makes this breastfeeding friendly is you throw some shorts on under it, you just lift it up, you can feed the baby right underneath. I've done that before. But one thing I do like to do with t-shirt dresses, whether in postpartum or not, is you want to put like a fanny pack or a belt or something because the waist definition and like what you can do with the styling, I think is just so much nicer. Like, look at that. You add that in, you can add a little waist to yourself, which this I even have a little low. Add a little waist, a little more definition, could be a little edgy depending on what you decide to put around it. A chain belt, I would love that. I wish I had one because I'd have that on right now. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks really cute, really put together, and something you easily can wear to dinner. Put your diaper bag on to finish off the look, baby on your arm, you're golden. This is another style of dress that's great for postpartum buttons. The more buttons you can have, the better. I bought this dress uh, when I was in California last time I was pregnant and I thought this was gonna be a good maternity dress. It was pretty good, but the buttons were like a little too wide open to wear as I got bigger because things started to stretch. I do think it's a great nursing option because it has the buttons. Button it down, feed your baby, you're good. Uh, the other thing I think you could do with this is button this all the way down and wear it as a cover-up with like a more like slip type dress, so like a spaghetti strap, you know, tighter fitting, even bodycon dress. No, bodycons aren't like the greatest things postpartum, but sometimes I do it. I mean, this one's a little bodycon-y and I don't have like any spanks on or anything, so you can see the belly a little bit. Do I care? Eh, not really. After you have so many kids, doesn't really matter to me that much. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, I'd probably wear some Spanx with this or high-waisted shorts because again, if you want to pull it up, if you wear high-waisted shorts, you can easily do that. But I think it's very nice. The button down's good. The color's good. This, I mean, this is spring to me. The flowers, the green, like this is Easter. This is Easter pastels. Love it. Okay, this is the last outfit. Not just because I am running towards the end here, but uh, the kids are waking up. So here we are. This is a swimsuit and I wanted to highlight this because you still can wear two pieces postpartum. I know it's like a little scarier, but I think this is a good one. Obviously you can go with the one piece. I have some really cool one pieces that really tighten everything in, which I do enjoy and I do like, but I do think the high-waisted look can really be nice postpartum. This is a uh, Amazon swimsuit, but I believe it is from Cupshe. Like they just sold it through Amazon. I bought this for pregnancy. It was not able to wear when I was pregnant because my belly got a little too big by the time I was able to, to like do it. But I do like this top a lot. It has this ruffle that just kind of distracts from things like any extra skin you have going down here, anything like that. And then it has a nice high waist with some good coverage in the back that like, it cuts in a little bit, but I mean, I have a larger booty um, and I think these are smalls or mediums. Yeah, it's not too bad. I do like how compressing it is. It makes your stomach just be a little more pulled in. Really nice for postpartum. And like I said, you can always wear whatever you want postpartum. Like, do you. Um, I like two pieces. I'm gonna wear a two piece. It's easier for me to like 
use the bathroom when I'm at the beach, when I'm swimming with the kids. So I'm gonna go for whatever's easiest, and this is easiest for me. The other thing that I think you could do to make yourself a little more comfortable is get a cover-up. I know this one doesn't exactly match this outfit, but this is one of my favorite beach cover-ups. I also have a black one. Yeah, I'll get the black one out because that one's gonna match a little better. But this one, you know, put it over yourself. You can even cover it up like this, do a little tie. You know, you feel a little bit more put together. Now this other one's even better. This one's like a full-on cover-up. It has like lace on it. Like it is all out. If you're wearing this, you are going all out. You can wear this too. Like, you know, if you're at the beach, it's really nice to wear this when you're done swimming, when you're done at your day at the beach and you're going to go to dinner. Like this is a very nice put together look. But you know what? I have a snag in it. I gotta get that out. Yeah, I think this is a great look. Okay guys, gotta wrap it up here. I hear the kids talking downstairs, but yes, this is my outfits for postpartum. A lot of times, I'll be honest, I'm just in a bra and shorts or leggings, but it is nice to throw things over and when you go out in public, have those options that are just a little easier, no brainers that you can throw on. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you like fashion, mom content, and exercise content. I got some postpartum exercise content coming your way in the next few weeks here. Um, yeah, but I hope you've been enjoying. See you in the next one. Bye.